Hey, how you doing everybody? My name is Zach Strauser, and I just want to give a quick overview on uh, 1%, um, kind of what it is, how it's got started, what it is, and uh, maybe a little detail of where it's going. So um, 1% for Nature is a nonprofit in uh, Monroe County, Pennsylvania, and uh, our mission is to uh, preserve and to enhance nature spaces uh, throughout the county area. And uh, that being done through businesses and at the point of sale of donations coming in from their customer or from the business um, taking 1% out of their income and also donating. So how it got uh, founded and, and kind of uh, ended up um, actually being a, a, a true nonprofit in our region is that um, I was sitting on different boards uh, several years ago and still do that I noticed a need for funding. And basically, you know, the conversation always ended, well, where's the money come from? Where are the grants come from? Um, so heard that, and then also um, was kind of interested in the 1% for, uh, um, for the planet through Patagonia. Thought that was a little more on a global level. I mean, the, even though they do impact on a local level, it's more on a global. Uh, a friend of mine in Gunnison, Colorado, Crest Butte, um, made a post on Facebook about him being a 1% for Gunnison. Well, that's in Crest Butte, Colorado. I did some research, talked to Jason out there, and uh, basically found out, wait a second, we could do something like this in the Poconos. So I started probing different people I know, and uh, lo and behold, two years later, after a lot of people with a lot of efforts, um, we've actually got to a point where there's a board of directors, and there's about 10 participating businesses, and um, we really are off and running. So. Um, how it works generally is, well, there's a couple different ways it can work. So, um, you know, there, there can be uniqueness with your business. There's not one particular way that you have to do it, but kind of the, the way that I think about it, and I think um, the way any business should or can think about it, which is you can do 1% off the top of your sales. So today I make $100, I donate $1 out of my company. Um, it could be just for today. It could be for every day of the year. Um, you know, uh, I think it could be for a certain revenue stream. You know, we only, we do, uh, on our painting homes, we could do, uh, if you're a painter uh, in the community, you could say, every home I paint, I do 1% off that. Um, or every Sunday's, um, you know, breakfast and lunch at our restaurant, we do the 1% off the top. The second level is that um, you could, you or would ask for the donation from your customer or client at the point of sale. And basically, it's a $100 sale, you're asking for $1. Um, then there are some other creative ways, which I would encourage you to talk to the board members and our executive director on those um, different particular creative ways you can get involved. The kind of the third level is, is if you just uh, want to be a, a, a a um, participant who actually has a box out on your desk at your front desk. Um, you know, I know we have some storefronts and um, uh, service businesses that have those boxes out front. So they're just asking for a general donation. And you can ask any customer or anybody for a general donation and donate to the 1% also. Um, basically from there, um, the board of directors is now appointing a, and trying to build out the committee um, the, the, the committee board um, that will actually do grants um, that will give the suggestions to the board of directors on what grants to approve. Now, we have not started taking grants. We will not for a little while yet until we actually, one, build up cash flow, um, and two, get enough participating members. Um, so we definitely don't have all the answers. I suggest you to call someone, get involved. Um, you know, it, our community isn't going to get better unless businesses step up and help out. It's a win-win for businesses to do that. Um, the, uh, you know, don't stand on the sideline too long. Get involved and, uh, you know, be a part of uh, making it a great community that's highly focused on nature spaces. And, um, I, you know, that's that. If you have any questions, give me a call. Shoot me an email. Um, talk to any board member or executive director and uh, hope you hope you get involved at some level or another. Thanks a lot.